staying with Kaduna State hours after announcing the imposition of curfew in some parts of two local government areas. The Kaduna State government has extended the 24-hour curfew to cover the whole state. Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs Samuel Aruan said that the decision was to safeguard lives and property. The government had earlier imposed curfew in some communities in Chinkum and Kaduna South local government areas. When I was joined by Samuel Aruan, the Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Kaduna State, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Uh, quickly tell us uh, the reason uh, for the extension of the curfew. Well, uh, the reason for extending the curfew from uh, two local government areas uh, to the entire state uh, was to avoid a breakdown of law and order and to also protect uh, life and state. Uh, this is essentially uh, why government uh, decided to extend uh, the curfew to cover the entire uh, state. Uh, give us an idea the extent of looting and attacks in the state. Well, uh, from uh, the NAVDAC office, uh, there is a massive uh, destruction and looting. And what is worrisome uh, is the fact that uh, thousands of expired drugs and uh, also uh, uh, drugs that were equally confiscated by uh, the agency were actually uh, looted. So if you look at this, you will agree uh, with us that by the time these uh, drugs uh, get uh, to the market, uh, it poses uh, a threat uh, to, uh, to citizens uh, who may come in contact uh, with this. Added to that, like I initially said, when you look at the initial uh, damage of uh, the office complex where doors were destroyed, and stolen windows, uh, computers, refrigerators, refrigerators, and other uh, office uh, equipment. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, troubling. Then, if you also move uh, to a food uh, processing company, where uh, thousands of tons of grains and soya beans were also uh, stolen, the company uh, reached out to government, uh, informing uh, Kaduna State uh, government that uh, these grains are treated with chemicals and, uh, and other preservatives that are very dangerous uh, to a human life. And uh, you can see uh, what they have done. They've looted the place, destroyed the gates, uh, took a lot of uh, properties uh, in this uh, establishment. Added to that, I also want to uh, state the portion of uh, Kaduna State Government. There is no any government official or any senior government aid of Kaduna State Governor that diverted palliatives are meant uh, for citizens. Uh, what really happened uh, was Kaduna State Government is planning uh, to distribute palliatives for, in, for the third phase. And we have 23 local government areas. You have to take these uh, palliatives to locations that are very close to the targeted recipients in accordance with the social uh, register. But unfortunately, uh, some people who want to instigate a crisis in the state use the social media telling uh, young men and women that a, gov a certain government official or officials have diverted the palliatives and right. eventually youth throng to the place and stole uh, all uh, the food uh, meant uh, for uh, the poor citizens who have been captured uh, in the social that. register. And very um, close I, uh, to the location, okay. there were other business uh, places that were also affected. Because if you say you are looking for food, I don't see the justification where you will attack uh, a tailoring shop and uh, you, will, you, will, you will stole the tailoring machines and other uh, properties there. All they right, also uh, went to a secondary school that is called Queen Amina College. 
It's a famous school, it's a popular school. They destroy the fence and we are almost stolen uh, some of the properties uh, there. So to, some, right. to a point, we are yet to really come up. We are not done with the evaluation or we are not done with the inventory of what had happened. But what I would like you to know is the fact that uh, is a monumental loss. There's okay. Um, I, I need to um, ask you this. You were uh, giving out some really important information. I just want to ask quickly before we move on, uh, have uh, there been any returns? Um, have people who looted uh, these um, um, palliatives and uh, properties returned any? Have you had a scenario like that? Well, uh, for now, there is no any return or voluntarily from uh, the looters. But uh, what I can tell you is we've met some arrest. As of uh, last night, about 18 people so far uh, in the net. And we have exhibits because they were found while fleeing uh, with those uh, uh, properties. And it may also interest you uh, to know that we are closing on the, some of them. And uh, what is also unfortunate, we have a situation where people drove uh, commercial buses or vehicles to a food processing company, and we are actually looting and looting and loading these properties uh, into uh, the commercial buses and KK and IPEP. We've wow. been able to intercept some uh, of them as uh, exhibits. Okay, um, what is the level of compliance to the curfew? Has it been able to uh, bring about some measure of calm to the state? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, the level of compliance is appreciable and security agencies are doing their best and uh, we are also engaged uh, in consultation, uh, trying to reach out to community leaders, traditional institutions and other critical uh, stakeholders across the state and uh, we, are, uh, we are meeting hourly uh, to look at what uh, is going on uh, in the state. And uh, we are grateful uh, so far, there is no any report of uh, loss of life. There is no any report of confrontation between security agencies and uh, citizens. And security agencies have done well uh, observing uh, internationally based uh, practice. So from uh, all that no, you've observed, uh, how with, soon? With nothing. Uh, uh, from all you've observed, uh, how soon do you expect the curfew to be uh, called off? Can you hear me, um, Honorable Commissioner? Uh, I'm asking how soon, from all you've observed, uh, the calm that has returned, how soon do you expect the curfew will be um, removed? Well, we will soon converge. Uh, at the instance of uh, Kaduna State Security uh, Council, and at the end of uh, the meeting, uh, we will make uh, our position known. And I also want to uh, explain uh, this. There is calm in the state. The action that across the entire state uh, was only meant to avoid a breakdown of law and order, but uh, the state is generally uh, calm and there is no cause for alarm, but as soon as possible, immediately after the review meeting by the Security Council, uh, you will certainly hear uh, from us. All right, uh, just before I let you go, on, on the flip side of all of this, we've had uh, some people uh, crack a joke on the unfortunate incident that both Muslims and Christians seem united in pillaging. Could this be a signal that the two adherents can be united if their welfare is properly addressed? Well, uh, you see, uh, criminality is criminality. In perpetrating uh, crime, there is no uh, religious or ethnic or political uh, consideration. Uh, we have lived in the past uh, in our country and uh, most of the division that uh, later separated uh, citizens of this country were as a result of so many uh, factors. But what I want to say, in respect of uh, our religious uh, differences or ethnic differences, uh, what is wrong is wrong. There is a need for us to resuscitate 
our social values. The social values uh, have done, was a, the social values that we upheld in the past was responsible for peace and tranquility and development that we experienced in the past. And when you look at what is happening now, there's a case of indiscipline, uh, a case of uh, a lot of uh, things that are contrary to our social values. So there's a need uh, for us to do something about it. It's not all about government. The society must go back to the drawing board. We must instill discipline. We must understand ethics. We must do a lot. We must go beyond religion, beyond, pro beyond religious religiosity. There's mm -hmm. a need for us as a people to match uh, action with words. With words. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Honorable Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Kaduna State, and Mr. Samuel Aruan for joining us and bringing us up to date on developments in your state. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.